From the Saturday Night Short Tracks in the Midwest. And look at the battle heating up. Now it's a four car race. To the stock car palaces of the South. There's the checkered flag for Allen. He's the champion for 92. All the way to the Indianapolis 500. Goodyear makes a move. Little Al wins by just a few tenths of a second. Over the past five decades, Bob Jenkins' voice was heard on motorsports broadcasts around the world. Born and raised in Indiana, Bob's passion for auto racing began in his first visit to the Indianapolis Motor Speedway in 1957. And while the second love of music got him started in broadcasting, it was his talent that carried him to a career in auto racing. When ESPN began, Bob, Benny Parsons, and Ned Jarrett became the voices of NASCAR and helped elevate their stature in the national media spotlight. Bob also helped launch the careers of future Cup and IndyCar stars while covering USAC racing on Thursday Night Thunder. All culminating as the voice of the 500 on the IMS radio network and ABC sports coverage of the Memorial Day Classic. But while Bob might have reached the pinnacle career of a motorsports broadcaster, he never forgot to remain humble and honored to be part of the racing community. I have only been a race fan who got lucky. We were the lucky ones to know and work with Bob.